name is uh, Rock Nakajima. We are a motion capture company that does a lot of VR. We were showing here a lot of different things. Uh, most exciting is our Alice Space Demo, which is a multiplayer walk on the moon. And I'm here with Merge VR. We make uh, augmented and reality and virtual reality products for kids. We say that we're building the future of play and the future of toys every day. Uh, I'm here at the Miami VR Expo, where we just gave a talk and showed off some of our latest products, the Merge Cube, the Merge Blaster. Uh, and so we're excited to have everyone try our stuff. We're creating a social virtual reality platform that allows user to actually uh, not just envision what he have in his imagination, but also to bring it to reality and experiences right away in virtual reality. The Miami VR Expo, for me, it's a perfect example of what the vision of Magic City Innovation District is. It's bringing people into a space like this to find out what the intersection between technology and innovation is. Usually we have to go to uh, Los Angeles or Silicon Valley or other countries to do a uh, uh, VR events, but uh, for Miami to finally uh, get to the point to have uh, its first big VR event is very exciting for us since we're local and um, we're excited at all the talent that's coming from South America but also, also from South Florida that can all get together here and start creating really the uh, a hub for, for technology right here in Miami. I've been in big expos, like in more large places, in more, uh, you know, bigger cities maybe in, in the Miami. But uh, for me, this expo and the people who organize it, I feel that this is more personal and the virtual reality industry is smaller a little bit and it needs to have more connection between the developers, the creators and the audience. And that's what I feel here. And the, and the people here in the Miami VR Expo are willing to help so much, willing to make everything that we will succeed. So I'm a student from South Miami Senior High and I'm a member from the VR club of our school. It's a software that puts uh, autistic kids in real life situations that they would normally uh, struggle in knowing how to act like. We are a company that focuses on building advanced virtual and augmented reality experiences and right now we're featuring a new library that we just launched for K-12 educators to help students uh, and, and teachers learn about advanced concepts around STEM. One of the ways that we see virtual reality as growing in the future uh, is through esports and competitive gaming. So what we're trying to do here with Fractured Divinity is have it be the game where you know pro gamers are playing um, and then it's you know fueled by spectators that are watching in an arena in a, or in a you know stadium, and then it's supported by you know a larger community of sponsors and partners. Miami's a creative town. This is all about creativity. It's about interactivity. It's about merging different disciplines together: programming, creative, technologies. You know, people who are really thinkers and idea makers. And Miami, as the magic city, is the perfect place to do that. This is an amazing show and has given me the opportunity to showcase my business. All these people that are here, all the exhibitors, put us in a platform worldwide. We're here at Miami Expo because we believe it's a great place to create awareness to the project that we're working on, this network, as it will be accessible to everyone. I want you to come back next year. And I want you to join us. You definitely need to be out here next year. And come to VR Miami for 2019. This is going to be the greatest opportunity for everyone.